Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another Star Wars The Black Series figure review and today we have in front of us from Star Wars The Bad Batch Omega or Omega or however you want to pronounce it you know she has this uh, kind of British accent if I'm right it doesn't matter, the thing is she speaks like that uh, whatever accent it is uh, she comes with, well as you can see, herself her breathing mask here for that underwater scene, if I remember right. This kind of intergalactic pangolin creature, which I don't remember the name anymore. And her kind of bow thing, like a blaster bow or bow caster thing that she gets during... I don't remember if it's the episode when they fight the baby Rancor. Her bio says, born and confined to the cloning facility on Camino, young Omega serves as assistant to chief medical scientist Nala, and Nala C, sorry, offered an opportunity to escape, Omega joins the Bad Batch on their adventures. There you have the artwork looking exactly as she should, there she is, and the side artwork with the other figures, there's the intergalactic pangolin pug thing, <laughs> pangolin pug. And yeah, let's take her out of the box and see how good she actually is. And there you have Omega out of the packaging with all her accessories and or kind of pet figure next to her. And yeah, as you can see, even Omega is better at throwing kicks than the US agent, Captain America and, you know, some other Marvel Legends figures. Even Omega can kick more ass, you know, uh, which is a bit of a, well, it's kind of unacceptable. I mean, I'm glad that this figure can throw some kicks, but I'm not glad at all that characters like Captain America and the US agent are not able to do something like this. You know, the, the figures, it's, uh, I mean, that's something Hasbro should really consider when putting another figure out, which is supposed to be a kind of a melee fighter, martial artist, or super agile character. There we have Omega, and she's looking good. As you can see, she can throw some kicks, I repeat. And yeah, there you have it. First of all, she comes with this little pangolin, as I said, intergalactic pangolin figure. <laughs> Has some weird head, actually. Oh, is that a nose? Like a snout? like like kind of a huge dog nose and i don't know if this is like more like a thing to hit you know like a rhino or something like that like some kind of horn forehead uh, heart uh, bone thing you know or if it's like a huge nose i don't know it's weird the eyes remind me of the legend of zelda majora's mask just yeah if you know you know and yeah, it's just a chunk of plain green plastic with some blue paint on one of the parts and the eyes and the nose, but it's just, yeah. Well, it's something you get. It's better than not getting a thing, but of course it's they put this in because Omega is a smaller character and a smaller figure. But no shading, no wash. I mean, this is one of those things that really, I, I'm sure it will benefit from a nice wash because of all the texture there. The texture is not super defined, like carved there, you know, but it's there and of course the scales are there. That's the main thing and, you know. Anyway, the next part is her like bow thing, bow caster. I don't know if I should call this a bow caster, but it's a bow and it casts some beans. I don't know, uh, like laser or blasts. It's a weird piece, but it's just the way it looks like in the series, in the entertainment. And uh, you can see there, it's all cast in this translucent kind of uh, pinkish or lila kind of color. Do you say lila? Lila. Anyway, or like purplish pink, you know, or darker pink, translucent darker pink, you know, or something like that with a very nice uh, brown paint there and uh, I was gonna say bronze but it's, it's to me it's like golden you know and uh, metallic paint on it and it's very nicely sculpted and it's not warped or bent in my case it was nicely packaged there the other thing we get 
is this little mask if I remember it was for that last scene where they are underwater in well escaping from Camino if I'm if I remember right anyway that's that little mask and you wear it like yeah I guess it was gonna be like this and it is like that you just put it there and it fits snug and it doesn't fall down it has a bit of a well some plastic here some sculpt that I think it goes and fits into be below her chin and that clips there you know and yeah so there you can have also like Darth Omega if you give her a red lightsaber you know I really like that they added this thing because I mean she needs as much as accessories as she can get because she's a smaller figure as I said now my copy had some excess plastic here I think it's not no big deal we can deal with that in a second so I managed to get that out of the way and yeah you can see her face sculpt is it's accurate it's really nice it looks like Omega and it also looks kind of kind of halfway realistic you know like between the animated and the live action so you, you can fit her with other figures without it looking too out of place it won't look really like well, maybe it does I don't know she has her weird haircut has that little amulet on her forehead and the eyes are nicely applied everything is in place the head is just one piece the hair is painted on as well as that kind of tiara thing hanging on, on her forehead if you know how that exactly should how it should be called please leave it down in the comments below and yeah by the way if you're watching this far please leave a like and subscribe to the channel that really helps me keep this thing growing and there's already like over 160 something videos in the channel so you can uh, take a look at what there what what I have been recording this past year you know now you can see she the, her kind of garb or her clothing you know it's like cast in this blue plastic with that white paint some gray for the shoulders this vermilion for the I mean for the shoulder kind of pad here and on the actual shoulder you have some vermilion do you say it vermilion like dark orange terracotta whatever you have i don't know if you can see if the camera is catching that you have the blue plastic and then you have for the inside like a greenish gray tone here that's painted on the hands are nice and there you know uh, she has this belt is just painted on top of the blue again as well as the white the legs are cast in that brown plastic and the boots oh she has a boot cut I don't remember if that's usual for black series but now now that we said that let's go to articulation the head can look up that far she can look up down that far she has of course tilts to the side as you can see she has a neck going to the torso and uh, a ball a ball going to the head so she has a nice rain range of movement it seems that, that maybe they did this I mean they the neck is good in this figure of course I'm sure it can be even better but it seems like they managed to to give her some nice neck range you know it could be even better again but uh, this is much better than many other figures from Hasbro you can lift the shoulders up to 90 degrees T pose or almost kind of there uh, no bicep swivel that you have that in the elbow and you can of course it's a single jointed elbow pinless and all of that and you can go slightly over 90 degrees if you manage to see it there um, and you have the both hands I mean the wrists can go all the way around this guy this one goes in and out and this one is vertical which is good to have always good to have at least one vertical one so it's I think that will help when putting the, uh, the, the elbow the bow on her hands she has a nice ball joint for the waist that can go backwards that far it can go forwards that far it's not much it's always 
tends to be much more backwards and forward. Uh, the legs, and it can go all the way around. It's ratcheted, but it's soft. You don't feel like you're forcing anything, at least not in my copy. The legs can kick forward that far, which is is not bad, in, in, taking in account that she has this softer plastic skirt. It has a slit in both sides, so you can do that much splits. Again, better than the Captain America and US agent figures, which is... I mean, it's great that we have this in this figure. It's ridiculous what we don't that we don't have it in those figures. I know it's not the newest mold, but um, I think those things could be fixed, right? I don't know. You have a thigh cut. Can go all the way around, of course. You have a single jo jointed knee that can go slightly over 90 degrees backwards. She can actually also... Well, you have this... This is how her back looks like i mean the the you know her derriere that which means she can also kick backwards quite nicely so you can put her running in, you know and what else you she has a boot cut as we said which is a really good one i, I mean it's always good to have and she has uh, the the ankles that can go backwards that far can go forward also a good amount and she has that much ankle pivot. It's not the uh, rocker, I mean, and which is not the best, but it's a. I mean, it's always good to have, and it's yeah, it could be better, yeah, again, but uh, it's good. Now the the bow here, you just uh, have to finagle a little bit. Oh, that fell down. So is it like you can separate this in parts? I don't know. This piece just fell apart. I don't know if that's in every Omega figure. Well, opinion. there you have her with her bow. I didn't want to waste your precious time by doing that on camera. You just have to, I mean, it's easy, you know? And I think clearly this is the hand that, that pulls the arrow and this is the one that holds the, the bow. Actually, let's remove the mask again. And let's do it with the lower bit. And yeah, maybe that's better, I think. Again, you stretch the arms, so because, again, you don't have double-jointed elbows, even if they, they have a decent range, you have to kind of see how you do it. I mean, so that it's... Yeah. There you have Omega with her bow. And it looks good. And there you have Omega with the whole gang, the whole Bad Batch, and Captain Rex. And that looks great. I'll actually make a little still picture of that. There you have Omega surrounded but by some of the smaller Star Wars Black Series figures like Chopper, Ezra, Slave Leia and uh, Padme. <laughs> Sorry, I was forgetting. And yeah, I really need a custom head for my Slave Leia because that's, yeah, that's kind of terrible. There you have her next to a bunch of Stormtroopers because why not? And next to a couple of the vintage collection figures, in case you were asking how she scales with them, I don't know, I just thought about it. And that's it for this review, I hope it was useful or helpful to help you decide if you want to get the Omega figure, I guess if you have collected the whole Bad Batch figures or if you're interested of, on getting them, because maybe you're just starting or something like that, um, yeah, I think you definitely should have her, it's kind of part of the team. And that's for me, like, the team. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, a great one. So please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That helps me a lot growing this, uh, yeah, the channel. <laughs> and please take care. I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.